Good morning, student. I've got a mission for you today. Your mission is to help solve the mystery of time. The first part of the mission is to work out the different parts of the clock. Can you remember the three parts? Part where the numbers are, the long blue hand's name, short yellow hand's name. Let's see how you did. The part of the clock where the numbers are is called the face of the clock. Just like we have a face. The long blue hand is called the minute hand. And the short yellow hand is called the hour hand. Oh, fun. Right, let's move on to part two. Remember what the time is when the long minute hand is pointing to the 12. And if so, what time is this clock showing? Let's check your answer. When the long blue minute hand is pointing at the 12, it always says o'clock. This time on this clock is showing three o'clock. Well done if you got that right. The next thing we need to remember is what the time is when the long blue hand is on the six. Remember it's moved halfway around the clock. What time is this clock showing? Let's see how you did. The long blue hand is on the six, which means that it is half past because it's moved halfway around the clock. The clock is showing half past eight because our short hour hand is between the eight and the nine. Good job. You are doing great so far. Now we're going to have a look at something new. Let's have a closer look at the clock. We said that when it's on the six, it is half past because it's moved halfway around the clock. If I draw a line from the nine to the three, I have now got four pieces known as quarters. When the long hand is on the three, it has moved a quarter of the way around the clock. We say that it is quarter past. If we look at this time, the long hand's on the three, so we know it is quarter past, and the short hand has just passed the 10. So this time reads quarter past 10. Here's your next mission. If the long hand is on the three and the short hand is just past the five, what time does it read? The long hand has moved a quarter of the way around the clock and the short hand is just past the five. So it will read quarter past five. Good job. Right, you need to pass this one before we can move on. Let's see if you can do this one on your own. Have a look at where the hands are and what does the time read? Let's see how you did. The long hand has moved a quarter of the way around the clock and the short hand has just passed the one. So it will read quarter past one. Good job. We are reaching the end of the mission. We've got one more new thing to have a look at. When the long hand is on the nine, it's only got a quarter of the way until it reaches the 12 again. This is what we call quarter two. When the long hand is on the nine and it is quarter two, it tells us what the next hour is going to be. So if we have a look at these hands, the short hand is just before the seven. So it is quarter to seven. The next hour will be, here's another challenge for you. What is the time? The long hand is pointing to the nine and the short hand is just before the eight. Let's see how you did. The long hand has a quarter of the way to go till the 12. So we know it is quarter two and the short hand is just before the eight. So the time will read quarter to eight. Try this one on your own. Pay close attention to where the long and the short hand are pointing. What time does this clock show? 
The long hand has a quarter of the way until it reaches the 12, so it is quarter 2, and the short hand is just before the 2, so it is quarter 2, 2. Well done if you got that one right. Well done, you did a great job. Thanks for all your help. You were fantastic.